everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Angie. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I will post on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Sunday and I may throw one in there every once in a while. So subscribe and hit that bell for whenever I upload a new video. All right, so today I had quite a few requests here lately to do like a classroom treat bag or like for younger kids. And so that is what I'm sharing today. I'm using two of my favorite stamp sets or bundles and they're super cute. I'm going to show you here right now. One is this adorable, I hope you can see this because my lighting is not perfect in here. So this is the Kangaroo and Company. Look how adorable this is. So this is one I'm using. And then let's see if we can get this one to show up. Okay, that is the Lots of Hearts. And you've seen me use this a ton. I cannot get enough of this gingham heart. It is so, so cute. And by those are what I'm using. I'm going to show you what we are going to make. So today we are making this cute little treat holder. Isn't it adorable? Oh my gosh, this kangaroo is so adorable. He has a little slit here with the little hearts will fit in there. The little Joey fits in here. And there's quite a few little things that fit into this little pocket. So it's really cute. But we are going to do this version today. Because I wanted to do one, because I don't think this is too feminine for a little boy. If you want to leave off this little bit of um, scalloped heart, you can do that and use just a plain heart. It would be really cute as well. But these are the two that we're making today. Another thing that I wanted to share before we go ahead and go down to the desktop um, is that during celebration is a great time to join Stampin' Up! And if you are interested in joining my team, you can go on to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and you can email me if you have any questions or if you are interested, just contact me at stampingwithamore at gmail. So that is it. Let's head down to the craft table. So let me show you what I'm using for this. And this is the Kangaroo and Company. And not only there's a little slit here that holds these hearts, but not only that, but it holds these little birthday packages or packages for whatever. This could be for Mother's Day or for birthday. And then it holds the little, you could put the little envelope in there. The hearts, the little other little kangaroo, baby kangaroo, or what do they call them, joeys. And then he, it's got a birthday hat. This little heart is the heart that I used right here. It's got a little butterfly and I was dying to use this butterfly. I thought I'd put it on her nose, but then... I thought, no, it's Valentine's, <laughs> but I think it'd be adorable right on the end of her nose. I don't know, but I am using the little sentiment just for you, but this says, love you much. That would be a really cute one too, but I wanted to keep it basic for like a classroom. But anyway, this is it. These are the dies, and they have the dies that cut out all these little pieces, the little Joey right here, and then it even has the square I used right here for the envelope that's right here, but I used it for the sentiment on this one. The other bundle I'm using is Lots of Hearts, which I know quite a few of my customers have ordered this already because it is an amazing bundle. And you do send per, save 10% when you buy the bundle together. You can buy them separate. You don't have to buy them as bundles. I know a lot of people ask me that question a lot. I did a, quite a few of treat holders and I've done some cards with this. But look at these dies. So I have a bunch of the dies already pulled out that I'm using. This scalloped one and then the die for the gingham heart, which I love that. And look at all these other ones that you have. This thing is amazing. So the other two dies I'll show you in just a second when we get ready to run them through the cut and emboss. But isn't it adorable? It'd be so cute. I'm going to do the next one. Um, and this one's actually Poppy Parade. But then I decided to use Real Red for the hearts. But you can use Poppy Parade blends as well for this. But I am going to make one this time with Pacific Point for like, if you want to do like a boy one. So let's go ahead and get started with it. All right, so for this, you are going to need Pacific Point this time. You can do it real red, poppy parade, whatever you want. Eight and a half by four and a half. 
Then you need another scrap piece. We are using our stitched shapes, and these are the squares. And you see me do this a lot. I already put it together like this so I don't have to line it up on the cut and emboss. Try to get it the same. This way both of these are going to be exactly the same and I'm going to run them through together. So you need that for that. You'll need a piece of basic white and we're going to cut out the two hearts, the big one and the gingham heart and the kangaroo with that one and then you'll need some other scrap for the sentiment and for the little heart that we're cutting out and also for the little bundle of hearts all right so let's get started by doing all our cutting and embossing because i mean doing all our cutting we're not doing any embossing but um stamping and and cutting so that we can get going on this one all right so let's go ahead and stamp him right there we're gonna fit everything on at the same time hopefully all right let's go ahead and we're gonna cut out our little kangaroo here we're gonna cut out this big heart I'm gonna to try to make sure I have enough room where I'm gonna stamp my little I'm gonna do that one and then up here I'm gonna stamp the little hearts this way we're gonna get it all on this hopefully and run it through all together and then I think I may even try to cut this one out as well like that all right so let's go ahead and grab the cut and emboss and we're gonna run these through so if you're using the cut and emboss you need the one two three and you need both threes for this so let's put this on here Sorry about my squeaky chair. It needs to be fixed again. And then this, and then let's grab our die for our hearts. We're going to go ahead and we're going to color them with the blends after they go. we send them all through. I think we're going to fit them all on there at one time. How about that? I love when that happens, when you can fit all that on at one time. Look at him. Isn't he so cute? Oh my goodness. And here's the little slit for his little hearts. He's so stinking cute. This one is so pretty. And it's such a good size. I love the size of this heart. This is a perfect one for Valentine's Day. Even, I can think of so many things. Valentine's Day, anniversaries. Oh my goodness, there's so much. Any kind of just thinking of you and the love. It would be so cute. All right, now we got that done. Let's run through our two pieces that we need and these are for the handles, so these are going to have stitching on them. So we'll have one right here. We're just going to pull these off gently. So I want to keep those in the same position. So here's one. We're going to do the other one. And then at the same time, I'm going to run through this little heart. I think this is everything that's going through. This heart's so cute. Look how little it is. It's so adorable. Again, I want to keep those through. Keep these little pieces. You can use those for a card. There we go. Now we got our two handles. Let's put this with our other dies. I don't want to lose those. So I think we have everything done with the cutting emboss. All right, so here we go. All our pieces. 
let's go ahead while we have let's do the memento and let's stamp our sentiment on here it says just for you and then we're going to color these so i am using light and dark real red for this i'm just going to color all the light ones first this is just so simple coloring i am not doing any shadings shading at this point i will do a little bit with the dark but at this point i'm just using i hope this is the light yes so we're just going to color all these in when we stamp the heart the gingham heart and this is going to be a little bit harder to do because i already just <laughs> cut it but and normally i'll stamp it first but i wanted to try to speed this up because it may be a little bit of a longer video so i'm just shading areas where i think it would be a little bit more shaded and it just gives it a little bit more dimension All right, and then I'll just use my light one again just to go smooth a little bit of rough blending areas. Okay, there we go. Got our hearts ready. It's going to go inside just like that in his little pouch. Isn't that cute? So cute. All right, so for to color him, I'm using ivory and I'm using the light crumb cake. So we're just going to color in his little chest area with the light and then I'm coloring the inside of his ear and then we're gonna just do our crumb cake and this is the light crumb cake and then I'm, I'm gonna do a tiny tiny bit of shading on this but you can get away with just coloring them in this would be a great thing for your kiddos to do is just to color in these and they can use crayons they can use colored pencils whatever if you don't like them using your blends just have them it would be give it such a personal touch if they colored it but it's so so cute all right and then i need to grab my dark i forgot to grab that and i'm just going to give it a little bit of You can just do, you know, the plane. You don't have to shade it or anything. I'm just getting rid of the rough line there. All right, now I'm just using some of the light flirty flamingo and I'm just gonna do her nose and just a little bit for her cheek. Isn't that cute? <laughs> it's so cute. I love this little thing. All right, I'm gonna put a mini glue dot on the back of this, not glue dot, I'm always saying glue dot, a mini dimensional, because we are going to actually stick this up on the card. I should have left the backing on. I'm gonna flip it over so um, it doesn't get messed up there. All right, so this one, we're gonna stamp it with the Pacific Point because we are doing in this Pacific Point. And hopefully I'm gonna line this up good. I would use my Stamparatus for this if I already cut it. But again, I'm trying to make this a little bit quick and easy. And I think I did pretty good. There we go. Oh, I have some hair on that. Oh my goodness, it's okay. It created a little crack in there, like, look, but it's all right. All right, I think that is everything. So let's go ahead and attach this to here, and then we'll have it ready to put on our box. And I am moving this up a little bit because the body of the kangaroo blocks out that, and I want more of the gingham to show. So I am pushing it up towards, instead of centering, towards the top. And oh, let's 
Let's do that after. Okay, let's put these off to the side and get our box made. All right, so here is our piece. This piece, again, is eight and a half by four and a half. We need to score it. And we're scoring it on the eight and a half inch side at one half, at three, four and a half, and seven. And then you're just gonna turn it and you're gonna score it at three inches. This is such a simple box. Real, that's why I said it'd be quick and easy for a kid's classroom. All right, so this is the bottom where the three inch side is here. We're cutting this off and then this will be our glue tab right here. So let's cut up the bottom flaps. All right, so that is it for all our cutting. We are going to get my bone folder and sharpen all these score marks. Keep messing up my thing, moving it all over. I'm going to use some tear and tape on this. And then my paper piercer to take that backing off. And we're just going to line this up. This is going to be the front, so we are going to tuck in our two. I'm going to add another piece of tear and tape on the bottom here. And then fold that down, and there is your box. Now the rest of it I am going to put together with my wet glue because I want to put the handles on and I want to be able to adjust them till I have them even. Make sure your stitching is on facing the outside and you're just going to put adhesive down at the bottom and just put your handles however tall you want them. Oh one thing else I did is I rounded the corners because I thought these corners looked better rounded and I'm just doing the very tips of them with my corner rounder and this one as well. Almost forgot that. So it just gives it a little bit, almost like a suitcase type look. All right, and then we're gonna adhere this one as well. And I just tried to look at it from this, the front to try to line these up. They don't have to be perfect. No one is gonna notice if it's a hair off. All right, so there's our little um, treat holder. So let's see, this is my front because I have my seam back here. So we are going to attach the heart to the front right here. And then we are going to put pop him up. You can see I used scrap, but that's what scrap is good for. So we are going to put dimensionals on the back here. And I already put that dimensional on the little hearts here. That little mini one. And then we're gonna set this on here. And then these hearts will also pop up. We're gonna use some more liquid glue and we're gonna tuck in our little just for you. And then we're gonna add our little heart. It's super cute, even with the Pacific Point and the little hearts. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So there you have it. You can make them for the boys and girls. I just filled this with a bunch of like Hall or Halloween, Valentine candies from the Dollar Tree. It's very inexpensive. A dollar, you can't beat it, and you can get a bunch and fill these little things up just for the kiddos. I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. Aren't they so adorable? I just love this kangaroo. He is going to be so much fun. All right. I hope you all have a blessed day. This is my January hostess code. And if you use the hostess code, I get credit for the order. And also, 
It, um, I do a drawing at the end of the month for Hostess Dollars that are free for you. So I hope you have a blessed day, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye.